When looking for books, it's best to keep your search term or terms broad in nature. That's because this is going to be the smallest collection that you're going to search on the LibGuide. To look to see what print materials we have available in the library, use the one search box at the top of the tab. I'm going to do a search for Alzheimer's. When you get the results list in the library catalog, you're going to find that you'll get a mixture of print materials as well as materials that are available online, mostly meaning ebooks. If you're limiting yourself to just materials that we have available in the library, after you do your search, click here where it says Held by Library. That'll eliminate all the online materials. The other thing that you may want to do is to refine your results list to include only materials published in recent years. Right now I'm getting results from 1988 up until 2022, but I could change this to 2018 and refine my results list, which will take me down even smaller from 72 results down to 19 results. Now it's just a matter of looking through the results list and finding one that would be of interest to you. Keep in mind we can tr transfer items from between campuses. So if there's an item at the Grand Strand or Georgetown campus, if you're based out of Conway, we can move that item to the Conway campus. When you find one that looks good to you, go ahead and click on the title. The reason I say that is there's a couple links here that might be of help to you. If you want to share a link telling your group mates about this item, share the permalink. Permalinks are just that. They're permanent links that will allow you to share items and anyone can bring them up at any time on any computer. There's also a citation button that provides you with a suggested APA style citation, but do make sure that you double check it for accuracy because there are occasionally issues with capitalization. The other thing that you'll find on this page is the subject heading section. These are the subject headings that have been assigned to this specific book. Any resource that you find through the library is going to be assigned subject headings, be it a print resource or an online resource. If you click on any one of these, it will automatically do a search, in this case in the library catalog, to find similar items also assigned that subject heading. So if I were interested in items on brain and aging, I can click on that, and now all the items that are assigned that subject heading come up on the list, and I can again limit myself to items held by the library, and I also could once again limit by the date of publication. Going back to the LibGuide, three other things that I'd like to quickly point out to you. There are some sample books that we have available through the library on the guide. Books about play, books about specific medical conditions. Additionally, over here on the right-hand side is a link to Pascal Delivers. When you click on the Pascal Delivers logo, it will open up a new window, and it looks very similar to our library's catalog. In fact, it is through the same software. But when you search Pascal Delivers, which I will do right here by clicking on this radio button, you're searching all the other colleges and universities in South Carolina. You're seeing what they are. So if there's a book at, say, Clemson or College of Charleston or Greenville Tech, you can request that item over the computer through the Pascal Deliver service. Now, I'm going to do two searches here real quick, just so you can see an example of two different ways of conducting a search for the same term. First, I'm going to do a search for play therapy. And you'll see that I get over 1,300 results. While this isn't a bad search, there is a better way to do this specific search. Anytime you're looking for something that's a phrase, meaning it's more than one word, if you want those words to appear specifically in the order in which you have typed them, and you want those words to stay together, put them in quotation marks. You can do this in any library resource. That will keep it so that those words are not separated. Now when I do this search, you'll notice that I went from 1,300 results to about 400 results. And if you see an item on the list that's of interest to you, you can click on Check for Availability to see if it's available for requesting. 
Again, just like when you're searching our library's catalog, I do recommend that you limit to items that are in place and held by libraries and not electronic resources. And you will also probably want to limit by the date. Once again, I can click on check for availability. And in this case, the item is available. So to request it, all I would have to do is click on sign in, enter in my MyHGTC information, and I can request this item with a simple click of the mouse. The item will arrive in your selected library in about five to seven days. And once again, with Pascal Delivers, just like when you're searching our library catalog, all items will be assigned subject headings. So if you wanted to find all the other available items that were assigned the subject heading games-therapeutic use, you could click on this link and it would bring up that list for you. Finally, there is a link on the library's LibGuide on the Books tab for interlibrary loan requesting. If there's a book that you want and our library doesn't own it, you look in Pascal and it's not available there, you can click on the interlibrary loan request form and you can submit a request to the library to have that item requested from another library in the nation and we will allow you to check out that item once it is sent to us. This service takes a little bit longer, somewhere usually between one to two weeks for the item to arrive.